So following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here, we got to this stage here, hang on, we got to, um, we got to, we got to this stage here where we have the ability to integrate cost to the power of anything. So by using the reduction formula, we got to this stage here. So, uh, so now all the answer is in, in terms of theta, but we don't want the answer in terms of theta, we want it in terms of x. So we would go back to our original diagram. And then and use this diagram to translate everything back into x. So hang on. So translating everything back into x. So looking at this block, uh, visualize this as cos theta to the power of 2n minus 1. So now uh, looking at the diagram, uh, cos would be this. Cos would be um, uh, would be adjacent over hypotenuse. It would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So, uh, so cos theta would be adjacent over hypotenuse to the power of this, to the power of this. So this block here becomes this thing here, becomes this thing here. Now everything is in terms of x as opposed to theta. So now translate this. So sine, this is sine here. Sine will be um, will be um, opposite over hypotenuse. It will be opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, this is your constant, and then uh, and then. Visualize this as being cos theta to the power of 2n minus 2. So cos theta, this is cos theta, would be um, adjacent over hypotenuse, would be adjacent over hypotenuse, and then to the power of this, to the power of this. So, so this block here becomes this thing here. And then now we need to translate this. Um, looking, at the, uh, looking at this, this is 10 tan theta equals this thing. So um, so this thing here, so now we need to extract d theta, d theta. So from this, divide both sides by secant squared. So d theta equals um, 1 over secant squared theta dx. So this thing here is really equal to uh, cos squared dx. And then uh, and then what's cos? What's cos? Well, cos is this thing here. Cos is um, adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then you've got your, your squared here. You've got your squared here. So this theta here becomes this thing here because this dx is this dx here. Okay, so, so, um, so we can extract our d theta. That becomes this thing here. This thing here becomes this whole block here. Uh, this thing here becomes this. And this block here becomes this thing here. So we are currently at this stage. Okay, so hang on. So now tidy this up. So this thing squared will be, so, so when you have one over something squared, it means times by one over something. So, so top times top, that will be one. Bottom times bottom will be the exact same thing, exact same thing squared. So the point is this thing squared is, is this. Uh, and then when and then this thing squared because because you've got a one at the top this will re remain as one and this thing simply goes down here so that will then give you this so this thing here is this thing and then this block here is this block here so now um, exactly the same times exactly the same so we can just simply add these two indices together so that will then give us 2n so this whole thing here will then become this okay Hang on, let me think. And then, and then, uh, and then you've got this thing, uh, square root. Well, square root is to the power of a half. Square root is really to the power of a half. And then you, so, so square root, so you've got this thing, square root, that means this thing to the power of a half. And then you power it by 2n. So now we can just get this times this. That will then give us n. So that will then take us to here. So now, um, now, now re re remember from the previous video, we said let i n be this integral here. Well, this integral here is, is this thing here. So we can actually put um, i n into this block here. So you've got your constant, your constant, and then and then uh, your i n. So that will then take us to here. And then now, uh, now tidy up the left hand side. So tidy up the left hand side. This thing squared means well this thing here would then become this and then uh, and then this block here remains the same 
And then if you look at this, exactly the same times exactly the same. So you can just simply get this plus this. So 2n minus 1 plus 1 will be, will be uh, 2n. And then you've got, your, you've got this thing square root. Well, square root is really to the power of a half. So you can simply get this uh, times this. That will then give you n. So, so now, uh, now we, 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 we are now at a, at a stage where, where we were trying to get at in the previous video. So from this, we can work out, uh, we can work out I3 if we wanted to, I4 if we wanted to. But first, we need the first term. Uh, the first one, when I1, I1 is really this. Hang on. I1 was uh, x squared plus 1 dx. This is I1. I1. Well, if you differentiate, um, if you differentiate um, inverse 10, if you differentiate inverse 10, it gives you 1 over x squared plus 1. So, so if you integrate this, it will then take you back to, the, the point is that if you integrate this, it gives you inverse 10. So, so the integral of this, so I1 is really inverse 10 uh, plus C. Yeah, I1 is inverse 10 plus, inverse 10 of x plus C. So now that we know I1, we can work out I2. So remember, I1, n is 1, n is 1. So if we want to work out the next one, n plus 1, it would be, remember, n is 1. So it would be uh, 1 over 2 times 1. Remember, n is 1. So this would be a half. Re remember, we're working out the next term, the next term. So n is 1, so this would be 1. So that would be this thing to the power of 1. And then n is 1, so 2 take away 1, that would be 1. Remember, n is 1, so 2 times uh, 1 would be 2. And then this i, i, uh, i n, i n we just worked out as, um, uh, well, it's inverse 10 of x. So tidy this up, it will then give you this. So now we've got um, the i2. Remember, i2 was, was this thing here, uh, squared dx, that's i2. Now to work out i3, well, if you know I2, then you can work out I, uh, I3. Well, I2, uh, uh, remember, n is 2 at the moment. If you want to work out the next one, n plus 1, which is I3, which is I3, if you want to work out the next one, well, currently n is 2. So it would be 1 over 4. It would be 1 over 4. And then this thing here would be 2. So this thing here would be a 2 here. Remember, n is 2. Um, this would be 4 take away 1, which would be 3. And then remember, n is 2. Okay, n is 2. So this would be 4. And then, and then the previous integral, which was uh, i2. So, uh, so, so you would bung this whole thing here into, into here. So, uh, so this constant here is this. This whole thing here is this. So i3 is given by by this thing here. And then if you tidy it up, you can, uh, well, if you tidy it up, it will then give you this. So from this, you can work out I4. If you have I4, you can work out I5, and so on, okay? So I3 is given by this, okay?